Late October for me is all about scrape hunting. Now, scrape hunting is tough. Picking that right scrape is really the key. Frankly, the best time to locate that scrape you really want to hunt is in the spring. Now, you want to hunt those scrapes that have those great big scraped areas with that bold shaped appearance. When you find that scrape in the fall, you don't really know how much activity it's going to receive. But when you find it, found it last spring, now, you can gauge that. Next, you want it back in the woods, more often than not, or on a very, very isolated food source. The vast majority of scraping activity occurs after dark. Now, you need to find those few that are consistently hit and also consistently hit during daylight. Then you start getting into the chase phase. There's about a five day period where those bucks, they are, they, even the most mature bucks, they've gone stupid. They're running around chasing every doe they can find. The does at that phase, they're not ready. They're getting harassed. What they tend to do is they tend to head for the thickest, nastiest cover in the area. That's a great place to have your stand there. Also during that phase, the funnels start picking up. The bucks are on the move more and more. If you've got a doe bedding area over here, a doe bedding area over here, and a funnel between them, man, that's a great place to be. You know, the better travel corridors are, again, you know, what links A to B, what links food to bedding areas, what links does to other doe groups, or buck bedding areas to doe bedding areas. You know, how are you going to find these? Think of the deer's home range and think of the, or get out your aerial photo or your topo map and just really take a good look at it. What are the little nuances, the different terrain features that could cause a bottleneck? Those are the things that are really going to kind of help you funnel in and find the best travel corridors where you should hang your tree stands.